I'm putting together a really big virtual production demo for the BSC Expo in London. And at the time of recording, it's about four days away, which is a bit nerve wracking and you'll see why, because I'm putting together something pretty huge. This video is sponsored by Lightcraft Jet Set and it's their software that I'm going to be demoing on the stall. Let me show you what I've got here. It's not mine, it's a loan. It's the Z-Cam and a nice Tekina lens. It's a 29 millimeter Cine Prime. It's really nice and very, very heavy. But this is, for all intents and purposes, a cinema rig with an iPhone on top, of course. Why would you not mount an iPhone to the top of a cinema rig? Well, of course it's running Jet Set's app, but of course there's a reason that it's mounted on top of this camera and that's because it's gonna be used as the tracker which is very, very cool. I'm actually able to load my Unreal Engine scene into Jet Set and then use it as well as the monitor. And with the help of an Axion CMO Pro right here, I pipe the video from the Cine camera up into Jet Set, which it is able to use to analyze the video from the iPhone and from the Cine camera and calculate an offset between the iPhone lens and the Tekina lens. But what's actually been very interesting about working with Jet Set is finding out that it's not just about using a phone for virtual production. They are starting to find ways, pipelines, pathways through all of the really complicated bits that you have to do for virtual production. So all of the lens calibration that you might have had to do in the past is done within Jet Set, in the app. <laughs> so no more fiddling around in Unreal Engine, no more scrambling on these very different and disparate parts of virtual production it all comes together with Jet Set. That is kind of what this demo is about. I'm trying to show fully real-time virtual production, shot on set, then sent via Axion transmitters from the rig through into this laptop. This laptop's gonna be taking in through the CamLink 4K input from the Zcam, and it's gonna be comped together within Composure. And within Composure, I'm gonna be able to make a comp with the Unreal Engine scene and display it live on a television. Alongside a whole load of other inputs, I'm gonna be showing off the phone screen. I'm gonna be showing off Zoom. I'm gonna be showing off two iPads, which I've got somewhere down here, which are also gonna be running Jet Set as well. And all of that's gonna be piping through to the ATEM switcher, which I'm gonna be running live. So it's kind of a lot to do but it's going to be amazing. Ultimately, I'm really excited to start showing off how you can get really simply from the camera all the way through to the end of a shot. That's kind of what I'm in the midst of. Four days is not a long time. We're actually traveling down in a couple of days and we have a little bit of time to set up while we're there. So there's actually, you know, less time than we think to get this all working. But so far, I say I'm about 90% there. I'm really excited to share the journey that I take with you. There was one last thing because I found out very recently that in the last video I posted about Lycraft Jet Set, at the time of recording that, the ability to load in your own Unreal Engine file was not on their free tier, but now it is. So you can actually, on your iPhone, download Jet Set for free and use your own Unreal Engine scene in the phone record takes and send them through AutoShot back into Unreal Engine all for free. That is an incredible amount of accessibility. So on the low end, you're able to make stuff with your phone, you're able to use your own Unreal Engine scene and make your own films. And on the higher end, you can just add an iPhone on top of apparently whatever camera you want.